if you record on a small camera, the audio often sounds super thin and not very good. You can get away with mediocre video and good audio, but your viewer will always perceive your video in a negative way if you have really terrible audio, no matter how amazing your video looks visually. In this video, I show you five steps to fix your audio in a super easy way. I recorded a sample clip on a GoPro which is notorious for really bad audio and I deliberately chose an environment with really bad noise conditions. So let's replay that quickly to show you how bad it is. Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix your audio with really bad background noise, just like this. Hey what's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix your audio with really bad background noise, just like this. First step is a little hack. Essentially we are adding a little loop so the playhead will replay over and over again. We don't have to do that manually. In order to do that I hit the I button to define a starting point and the O button to define an end point. I'm gonna toggle this symbol loop playback. If you don't find that right away hit that little plus button right here then find it right here. Sweet. All right, now we are all good to go to get started with the improvements. As a first step, I like to eliminate background rumble. It is always present and shows up because of air conditioning units or all kinds of stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in denoise, drag and drop that onto the track. Um, hit the little edit button right here in the effect controls panel. And I'm gonna hit the space bar to replay that clip. Hey, I'm going to select guys, medium video, frequencies and slide that all the way to the right back, back and that will take away like most of these annoying hey, crickets guys, in the in background. Video, Sweet. All right. A muffled sounding voice is not so nice. Kind of sounds like an old radio or whatever and it's masking the clarity of your voice. But no worries, we can open that up. Next, let's get rid of any muffle and open up the mid-range in our voice. What are we going to do is search for parametric equalizer, drag and drop that. All right, let's click the edit button right here. Around the 1000 to 5000 Hertz mark is where your voice sounds really, really nice. So what I like to do is I pull this up and move this left and right to identify the frequency that sounds a bit annoying. Then I drag that down a tiny bit. And next I like to compensate for that a little bit by boosting the range, usually around the 10,000 Hz mark. This is called adding a sparkle and I like to drag the curve up a little bit right here. So let's replay that and we can already tell that the voice is a lot less muffled and sounds already better. Next, let's add some compression and I'll explain what that is and what that does. Unless you are a robot, people never speak in the same volume constantly. There's always some fluctuation in the volume. Sometimes it's a tiny bit louder, sometimes it's a tiny bit lower. And this is represented in these peaks in your waveform. Peaks are bad because they can become quite noticeable. Compressing will basically make the peaks a lot less dramatic. It will create a nice average, bring down the really loud parts, bring up the really low parts. It keeps the listening experience a lot more stable. So tube model compressor, drag and drop that onto the clip and basically what I like to do is set the attack to one millisecond, release to 250 milliseconds, ratio three to one hey, and then up, I replay the video, clip. Gonna... Next I like to lower the threshold with this slider right here until I see a gain reduction of about three decibel right here. Let's move to the beginning, replay the clip and now I see these little red dots right here. So I'm gonna wait until I see three of them. That's right. And last but not least, I'm gonna compensate and move up the output gain by about one decibel. There's really no magic settings. It really depends on a particular audio track, but I found that these are quite a good starting point. Next up, I'll use a function called de to reduce harshness in my voice. Consonants like T's and S's and Z are quite extreme and not so pleasant in your audio recording, particularly if you have a German accent like I do, but no problem, that's why we have the de function. So I type in de drag and drop that, edit, What's and basically guys? I'm going to replay the clip and pause it where it has a really, really significant like S. 
like right here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, see that little spike right here? I'm gonna center the frequency and then I'm gonna increase the bandwidth so it wraps around that part approximately and that is gonna significantly reduce the S's in my voice. And last but not least, let's apply a hard limiter. I'm gonna search hard limiter, drag and drop that, edit, and I'm gonna define minus three decibel as the maximum amplitude and give it a little bit of input boost of about six decibel. And that ensures that my audio levels are hey, what's nice up, and guys? smooth in today's around video, I'm gonna show you yellow how to fix mark your right audio here and not breaking out too much. Noise, just like this. And that's about it. Below you find a subscribe button. It is clickable and that way we can keep in touch. You don't have to click it, but I would appreciate if you want to. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you on the next video.